just it. all stop and take a picture of the flowers. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Denver Biscuit Company. Uh, I'm the only vegan in the group. We're all going to a uh, vegan lunch later. So breakfast was non-vegan. I was hoping they would have something on the menu. Unfortunately, the only vegan option were fries. <laughs> It's okay, they were actually pretty good fries. I think they had like sweet paprika on them, so they were pretty good. I'm glad that I found that vegan breakfast bar earlier. But anyways, now we are walking over to a park. Do a little walk around. It's a nice chilly day. Ooh, a pretty Ooh. little liar's book. Ooh. Scarlet leather. Looks like healthy baby. Oh, this is a great book. I borrowed this from Running Keely. This is a really great book. I don't think I've read any of these. How to fossilize your hamster. It's <laughs> a very specific book. <laughs> Multiverse. Wait, I'm the one that's off. Yeah, I was like, there. There you go. I'm in. Where's Tina? Yay! We're all in the multiverse now. So we got a Stargate fan and a Doctor Who fan. So we are pretty much just waiting for the kids to be done so we can play in the spaceship and go into hyperdrive mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to explore all of time and space. Yes, all of it. Just in one <laughs> one day, right before lunch in Denver. All right, anywhere go for it. space. Anywhere, go. Hold on. Healy worked. Okay, no, spoke too soon. 
No, I would like this in a sandwich. It's not as delicate as prosciutto is. Stream of consciousness. Michael Fassbender. Oh, yeah. Um, I had to look up his name, but Sendel Rama. Let me get I don't know. He's the dad from Never Have I Ever. There you go. He's the dead dad from Never Have I Ever. So hot. From Heroes. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he's really fucking hot. Yeah. Milo and Amelia. Yep. Steven Ewan. He looks like he's like five foot seven. So okay, fast. let's see about the sandwich. Oh my god, it's so freaking massive. Turkey and brie. This thing is ginormous. Yeah, this is really good. This is amazing. Then Tara gave me a bite out of her jackfruit barbecue jackfruit with the coleslaw. Mm, that's good. It's really good. All right, what's everyone? What's the review from the non-vegans? This is so good. So good? Can I just say, as a pregnant person, being able to eat pastrami right now is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All good. How are the truffle fries? Delicious. Good? Yeah. I haven't tried them yet. I think they're not super chocolatey, but they're quite good. Mm, they're good. Yeah. This is so much friggin' food. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's see the ho ho. Oh and so good. that looks pretty moist. I'll never forgive you for saying that word. Yes. The ho ho makes it better. It's good. Moist ho ho. And then we have the. Uh, <laughs> And then this is the ginger molasses cookie. Perfect. And? Uh, very good. Good? Thick, thick, you know. Okay. As good as the ho-ho. Not a name. <laughs> I got the cake, but I am way too full. And we're going out to dinner in a Top Chef restaurant. And it's supposed to be very fancy. And I called ahead and they said there's a way to make things vegan. They make all the pasta in house from scratch and it doesn't have eggs. So in four hours, I need to stuff my face with dinner. So I'm giving it some time to digest. Happy birthday, Hannah. just because I've been eating a whole lot. <laughs> I'm not used to eating this much. Um, yesterday, I'm gonna do my makeup while we talk, if I can find my makeup, one second. Yesterday, you saw that we did a lot of eating. Um, we ended up going to an all vegan restaurant that I was super excited about. And I posted on my Instagram and a lot of you said that um, they, that you love it or that this was the restaurant that made you go vegan. And I cannot blame you. Like the food was next level. Like we had a charcuterie board that had like salami and prosciutto in it. And it tasted legit like the real deal. I was very, very impressed. I told you guys like, oh, I gotta go eat in four hours. It was actually two hours. And it was at this Top Chef contestants restaurant. Uh, it's called Bardo. 
When I arrived, I told the waiter that I was vegan and he was so kind. He went and spoke to the chef, came back and he was like, okay, this might be the best choice. We're going to load it up with some veggies. No, that pasta. They make all the pasta in house and most of it, unless it's like the stuffed pastas, it doesn't contain eggs. So it just had like a tomato sauce with like kale and mushrooms and onions and it was so freaking good. I was so glad that I had leftovers because that will probably get eaten today. Um, and frankly, if it doesn't get eaten today, I am bringing it back to Tampa with me and eating it for lunch tomorrow. Like it's, it was so incredibly good. And then afterwards, like just a couple blocks away, there was a speakeasy bar. Um, I never, I've been to a speakeasy in, in DC, but it wasn't like this one. This was like, there was some theater involved. <laughs> like it looked like a bookshop from the outside, which you know, like you got me there. And then on the inside, it was like, okay, somebody's been inside my brain. Like it was totally my kind of aesthetic, like a kind of like 1920s kind of dark and uh, like it was just beautiful inside and the cocktails were really yummy and uh, I had the blackberry sage with whiskey and it was so good uh, and really pretty too and uh, yeah we just had one drink there and we left um, it wasn't like a crazy late night it was just like I've been eating so much food and I think my body is just not used to being this indulgent all the time. I'm not quite sure what the plan is for today. Like tonight we have the duo concert and that's what everyone's excited about. But we're gonna have to see where this day takes us. But I can't believe this is the last day of the trip. Vacations always go by too fast. My flight leaves at 5 a.m. which means I gotta go to the airport by around three. So um, yeah, there's that. But I think we're gonna go do some shopping today. I think that's the plan. And we'll see where this day takes us. But first, we gotta finish this. My beautiful faux leather jacket that I love so, so much. I think this is her last trip. I hate when this happens and they start falling apart and there's like literally nothing you can do except say your goodbyes, put your affairs in order. I don't think she's coming back to Tampa. Thankfully, I have long hair though, so I think I can still wear her today because it's not cold enough for this guy. But yeah, I think this is your last hurrah, buddy. Like if I ignore them, will they just go away? <laughs> I really hope so. Like, oh no, she came in. Hi. How's it going, buddy? Oh, he's getting ready for his close up. He's like, I got this, I'm looking good. He likes pictures. <laughs> no receipt for you. He's so cute. You're adorable. Can I say hello to you? He's like, You can, but I won't say it back. Thanks, buddy. I was gonna have to have that. Like But then you got vegan, Earl. chai, 
try something. It wasn't vegan. What? Yeah, it was under the vegan sweets section. Oh, I haven't tried that one yet. It's on the bottom. Oh, it's on the bottom. <laughs> it's a multiple thing. And I got coconut creme brulee. Hannah got some kind of sorbet. This coconut creme brulee. I wasn't gonna get ice cream because I'm pretty full from lunch because we went to this Mediterranean place and it was pretty good. I got falafel, falafel and then some pita and hummus so it was really good but stopped by this ice cream shop. I wasn't gonna get anything but then they had coconut creme brulee so I had to try it. I'm totally getting the creme brulee like aspect of it and but you can taste the, the coconut like sometimes you can't taste the coconut in the coconut ice cream. You can definitely taste coconut, but that's not a problem for me because I love coconut. Mm. But you definitely get creme brulee too. It's really, really good actually. Too bad that I couldn't get, I, try, I asked about the sugar cone and there was honey in it, so it wasn't vegan. And then the waffle cone had dairy, so cup it is, but good. Back at the hotel, this is the face of a woman that is not re ready to rally but will nonetheless. Tara, you're all ready and bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, all produ produced and everything. Trying to figure out what, if one of these works or if I should wear your jacket. No. I haven't even started getting ready. Try to take a nap. Should you? Like a fifth, no, I tried. Oh. <laughs> I did, I did what, a 15 minute power nap or something like that? It, it did not help at all. Um, you know what did me in was the car ride from the place to here. Like that freaking hot box of a car. <laughs> 15 minutes in that hot box. Um, so we went to this, what was the name of the neighborhood that we went to? Tennyson. Ten Tennyson. Um, that had like boutiques and restaurants. And we just walked around, saw the boutiques. We ate at this like Mediterranean place that started with the letter M, I'll find it and put it in the description. Um, and then that got me plenty full, but then on the way out we saw the ice cream. When I saw coconut creme brulee, I couldn't say no. I had to try it. Not for me, for you. The sacrifices one makes, you know? Hope you appreciate it. It was totally worth it. It was so good. But then that put me over the, ugh, you know, like I ate too much edge. Either way, dinner has been canceled. Neither of us are hungry. We were supposed to eat at a Mexican place for dinner. That's not happening. Instead, we are just gonna probably eat something at the arena. I have leftovers from yesterday that I might eat, but I'm still not hungry. I have to be ready in an hour, so I will rally. Okay, I'm gonna rally now. I can do it. See you in a bit. I rallied. Ready with 30 minutes to spare? Obviously, fake leather pants, white boots. I fell in love with this t-shirt. It's Vera Wang, but it's Vera Wang for kids. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> um, I just fell in love with it. I think it's really cute. Um, now Tara's trying to convince me to go to the bar, the hotel bar, because we are ready 30 minutes before everybody else. As per usual, I don't know if I can handle that. My stomach is so full of food still. Uh, let's just go downstairs and see what happens. Hello friends. It is after the concert. I'm sorry, we did not get to partake in it. But we would just get a copyright strike if I did. I so I couldn't show you anything. But we are back at the hotel. I have to leave for the Uber in two and a half hours, so we're just gonna hang out in the room. I reheated the leftover of my pasta, accidentally melted the entire container, but I think the food will still be salvageable. And that's it for the trip to Denver. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and the concert was amazing. So much fun. I'm whispering because I'm in the hallway and it's like, 12 30 a.m. so I should go and eat this and finish up packing so I can head to the airport and get back to Florida I hope you had fun I definitely did 
and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you on the next vlog.